when I was 27 in Brazil in 1987, I, I decided to run a competitive race for the first time. In Brazil there is a, a competition called São Silvestre. It's a race that you run on 31st of December at midnight. So you start the year running. Yeah, so it, I did a good a time and then I got hooked. Eventually I began jogging daily. There are no limits for you to run the marathon. You can't say I'm too old or you can say I'm too fat or I'm too heavy or anything like that. If you decide uh, to, to run the 42 and you create it sort of uh, in your mind uh, as an, an, an objective and then you, you try to pu you put that thing into your 24 hours of the day or your 7 days in the week, you eventually get there. Mm -hmm. I heard of a lady who ran the uh, marathon, 42 kilometers, last year in, uh, in Central America. She was 92. A woman 92 years old, and she ran. Nine hours and a half took her to finish the marathon, but she did it. In order to run the, the 42 kilometers, you have to prepare yourself at least four months in advance. Yeah, because you have to, be, to train in three aspects. One is endurance, so you have to begin running, say, uh, when you begin, you have to begin slowly. If not, you harm yourself, you get lesions. So you begin, for instance, walking, then jogging a bit, one kilometers, two, three, like that. You go slowly. Now, when, when you reach, say, 15, 20, now you are going to see the limits of your body. You begin having problems like you feel dizzy or you feel cramps and things like that. So it, it, then you begin to recognize that, okay, perhaps I have to eat something while I think or drink in water. Drink. One of the most interesting things is, uh, is discipline, you know, order. And order fits everywhere. There is this saint and philosopher called St. Augustine. Yeah? He has a very interesting phrase. He says, keep order and order will keep you. Meaning that if you make an effort, say to wake up at the same time every day, to go to bed at the same time every day, that you have breakfast at this time, you have lunch at this time and, and dinner at this time, that very effort to put order in your life, uh, that order now comes back and helps you to, to, be, uh, to achieve things that otherwise you wouldn't, you know. Um, somebody who doesn't have a schedule <coughs> gets scattered and doesn't achieve things. So, and this serves for everything in my relationship with my family and friends, in my relationship with God, in my relationship with my uh, workers here as a, a DVC, and also in my relationship, say, with my body uh, by the issue of feeding, proper feeding, uh, proper sport, uh, doing sports and, and sleeping. The idea uh, is students are, when they are between, say, 16 to 26, which is the range of the students we have here, their body are very okay, you know, they feel no pain, they can, they can do a lot of uh, sport and they, they, they recover very fast, etc. With this, I would say, when you are young, you know, when you are, say, 20, 21, 23, 24, you get used to a, a healthy way of uh, life, which means doing regular sports. And this will keep you fit for life. Doesn't mean that you will be just obsessed with it. It's just its quality, you know, of life, you know. So because of it, I had the idea of starting in Strathmore uh, this uh, uh, kind of fitness club. Eh? Very simple. The idea is that we are going to create a, a, a Facebook uh, um, site for, for the fitness club where members can go and agree among themselves that we do this, we do that. And then, uh, we will have only one event every month. This kind of one event per month can keep us psyched that in such a way that come October 2012 we will all be in very good shape either to run 10 or 21 or 42.
I'm 51, but uh, I feel good. I wake up, I have energy, I work up to seven, then I go home. You know?